Welcome to the uh, VHF UHF channel, and um, I've been uh, playing around a little bit with the uh, RTL SDR uh, V3, but with the um, latest version of SDR Sharp, which I gotta say looks nice in the uh, in the colors. So this is a two meter amateur repeater and uh, has, a, has a, a lot of functionalities uh, if you look at the bottom left with the audio the AJC settings game control there's a lot of stuff here to uh, look at and we're gonna we're gonna examine that a little more I think it's time uh, I, I, I had not used SDR sharp in such a long time and um, having the new uh, colors and all is kind of making me uh, want to use it again and also uh, one of the advantages of the um, SDR sharp software is all the plugins it's one of the only software that has tons of plugins to all do all sorts of uh, things listens listen to different modes and so on including uh, you know listen to some uh, trunking and and get some digital signals of course unencrypted so it's kind of nice. Um, I'm going to be looking at that a little more, and I'm going to play with this a lot this week, which also means you probably will see a lot of videos of SDR Sharp and SDR Console also, because I'll be using SDR Console V3 uh, also to uh, tune around here. And uh, it's kind of nice, a uh, really nice-looking version uh, for SDR Sharp right now. So... Um, I'm I'm pleased with it. I've been uh, playing around with the AGC and stuff because I was wondering why, for example, on on 450 megahertz, I, it was deaf. Um, you know, it's a question of playing around with the settings. And uh, one of the things that I noticed is by going into the settings, using the tuner's uh, AGC or automatic gain control, um, really made this uh, better. Actually, uh, by default, it was uh, no no our AGC is uh, check marked here. So by uh, looking at what you can do, you can uh, actually have much better uh, performance by playing around with all the settings. So um, I'm going to go through the, uh, the VHF, UHF range and all of that and, and play around. Um, it's it's kind of nice to... So here we've got some uh, this is the, uh, this is another frequency this is marine this is the uh, St. Lawrence marine weather obviously here there seems to be some breakthrough from the uh, from the uh, weather uh, radio on 162.55, so I'm gonna have to play around with the settings and make this a little better. You know, these are cheap RTL V3s. I'm using right now the uh, vertical mobile wide band vertical mobile. Weather conditions at 3 p.m. Sherbrooke, cloudy, temperature 13. Pretty sensitive. This is the one from uh, Sherbrooke. Barometric pressure 102. If I go down to 400. Should be getting the one from Burlington, Vermont. Yep. The temperature 61 degrees and the average wind was northwest at 18 miles an hour. Across the rest of Vermont, it was 58 at St. Johnsbury. It was sunny. So pleasantly surprised with uh, the latest version of SDR Sharp. I don't know why. Uh, it's, it's you know sometimes it's very simple, just a few little settings here and there, change the colors here and there, and suddenly you like a piece of software that you didn't really like that much sdr sharp was you know i knew it was great because i knew it had some amazing features with the plugins you can have but uh as a whole i didn't like the software i didn't like the interface at all i don't know dark mode makes it kind of interesting suddenly so more videos coming up that's for sure for you guys if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching